Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As always, today I have some great news for you. Because today, I have some spoilers from My Hero Academia Chapter 417. But, before moving on to spoilers, let me tell you, I regularly upload anime news and manga spoilers on this channel. If you wish to stay updated, then please do subscribe. And now, the previous chapter revealed what the other characters felt about Deku's fight against Shigaraki. With that, the manga revealed how Eri going to Deku would have been fruitless. As for Deku, he managed to punch Shigaraki, allowing him to reach his core. According to the spoilers of My Hero Academia Chapter 417, the upcoming chapter will be titled, Shimura. The chapter begins with a gust of wind coming out of Shigaraki. The people watching the fight felt confused by the developments as from the outside, it seemed like Deku was trapped inside Shigaraki's finger cocoon. Meanwhile, in reality, Deku had reached Shigaraki's core. He had successfully transferred all the OFA users except for Nana Shimura, who was repelled due to her conflicting feelings regarding Shigaraki and Katarao. Right after, My Hero Academia Chapter 417 spoilers saw Deku about to ring the doorbell. That's when he was approached by a dark version of himself. It was actually Shigaraki who wanted to learn what Deku was planning to do after learning his secret. Deku ignored Shigaraki and tried entering the Shimura household when a truck almost hit him. With that, Nana Shimura deduced that, given Deku was an OFA user, he had taken on a physical form within Shigaraki's consciousness. This meant that Deku could interact with the environment around him. My Hero Academia Chapter 417 spoilers then saw Deku run to the doorbell. But he was then interrupted by Stain who jumped on him, asking him, what do you stand for? Similar to how Stain asked Shigaraki back in the Hosu arc. Stain then turned into Ri, Destro, asking him, what do you stand for? What do you want to build? Like he asked Shigaraki in the Meta Liberation Army arc. Ri, Destro then turned into Overhaul, who asked Deku, do you have a plan? Just like he asked Shigaraki back in the Shihasaikai arc. Deku had no plan, however, he was adamant about learning Shigaraki's past. Thus, he opened the door, but it immediately turned into the photo of Nana Shimura and baby Katarao. During this, Deku and Nana could hear Hana and Tenko's conversation when Tenko first saw the picture. Seeing the photo made Nana teary-eyed as she remembered her moments with her son. As Deku walked into the door, he witnessed Katarao beating his son Tenko. However, Tenko was represented by a silhouette. Nana started crying after seeing the event and began blaming herself for her family's death. She had left Katara to defeat all for one. However, she never managed to defeat the villain and ended up hurting her son. The wound she inflicted on Katara also ended up hurting Tenko. This realization hurt Nana as she fell to the ground. She apologized to Katara for being a weak mother. However, she had something important she had to do. My Hero Academia Chapter 417 spoilers saw Deku and Nana jump toward Tenko and Katara. With that, Deku managed to transfer OFA completely into Shigaraki. As for Nana, her last thought was, it was all grandma's fault. Moments later, Tenko was no longer a silhouette. He could be seen in his backyard crying as he held Mon in his hands. And that's it for today folks, hope you enjoyed spoilers. See you in next video.